Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to another wonderful Fortnite news video. Anyways, today we got a lot of news happening. We got some old news, we got some new news, and we got the best news all around. So don't forget to hit that sub button if you guys are enjoying the content and that way you guys can keep up to date. But for starters, we're going to start with the best. And that is what is the latest and that is Disco Domination LTM. That's what's been announced by Fortnite and themselves in the lobby screen. So as soon as you open Fortnite, you see an image with a description. And in this image, you guys should be seeing on your screen right now, you guys see people dancing around a dance floor and a disco ball. And underneath, underneath it, it says capture and defend dance floors around the island using emotes to gain points. So I believe this is supposed to be like Call of Duty's version of Domination. So there's typically three points that you have to conquer and these are going to be dance floors and you're at the emote on them in order to defend them and gain points from them. So I believe this is supposed to be from what was previously leaked. I haven't linked it on my channel, but it was supposed to be the C's LTM, which was a 50 v 50 LTM that was considered that B captured the flag. But then it turns out it might possibly be this since you're capturing points instead by dancing. Um, but besides that, that's all we know about it. We should probably be seeing it tomorrow, aka Tuesday, when the 4 a.m. patch releases. That way we can probably have it. If not, then we're probably going to get it a little bit later. But I assume it's going to be tomorrow, Tuesday, because why else would they be revealing it this early unless it's Thursday? Now, besides that, since we're talking about the lobby screen and the news page itself right now, it turns out in the code, Fortnite has done something to where each platform has their own version of code now. So they'll, everybody will be seeing something maybe possibly different depending on what Fortnite wants to do. So now they can make separate feeds on what information they want to show. Maybe they want the Nintendo Switch to see something different from the PC, etc. Uh, but besides that, we're going to get back into the nitty gritty, and that is Halloween decorations. So in regards to Halloween decorations, they've been doing little minor stuff all around the map. So if you guys haven't already noticed, in Tilted themselves, they've hung ghosts on the, I guess, streetlights that you want to call it, all around Tilted. And now you guys can see ghosts. When you break the streetlight, the ghost still hangs there, but you can shoot the ghost and get wood or break it whatever it's still breakable and it's not indestructible i've learned that because i had a friend shoot an rpg at it uh, but besides that the biggest halloween decoration change that we've seen is a house in pleasant it's the house that nobody like and it's just the most well i mean it's the smallest house i would say in uh, pleasant and that is the house that is in the north part in the middle it's the grayish white building and it's right next to the dog house in red brick and right there, it now has spiders, cobwebs, it's boarded up. It's just getting everything going for it. It's wonderful now. Um, you can break all those things. Now you have to make sure if you want to have the best experience viewing it, you got to have all your settings turned up high, I believe. Uh, textures, shadows, and whatnot. If not, the cobwebs look really nasty looking. So just some word of advice from myself. And then also the modern house, which is the house at the southern part, like southeast corner of Pleasant. It also got some updates to it. Now it has pumpkins around it, some jack-o'-lanterns, I guess better term. And some also, I guess, ghosts hanging on it too. Uh, that's really it for Pleasant. And then also north of Loot Lake, there's this modern house, uh, just, just like the Pleasant house. And now has the same decorations like the one in Pleasant itself. So we got some minor decorations going on around. And I don't know if this was recent either, but there's also some cobwebs being put up in the uh, uh, Paradise Palms. Is that what it's called? I don't remember anymore. Uh, but yeah, there's some cobwebs on the house in the northeast corner over there. So just a heads up over that. Uh, but besides Halloween decorations, we're going to talk about the floating island. So in yesterday's video, I believe it's yesterday for this, um, we were talking about how the floating island was going to be expected to go over Pleasant. And the idea was for the island to caused the rune to come out of the ground and it turns out it did and now the floating island has caused the rune to come out of the ground and now there's like a lightning well there's a bunch of zapping happening between the cube and the rune itself you can land on the rune itself still um but now the island itself has a bunch of cubes growing inside the underground part below the house from loot lake so now there's some crazy stuff happening uh, but besides that, that explains what the growth me mechanism that was happening. You can't break the cube stuff under there. And also now there's these little vents that have purple ooze, like whatever coming out of it, little crater looking things that have purple ooze and you can jump on them and you won't die from it. You don't take fall damage. So it's perfect. You know, it's a win-win and we expect it to start leaving when patch 
when the new patch comes out. So on Tuesday, 4 a.m. EST, when that patch happens, we expect it to possibly start moving again. But besides that for the floating island, we're going to talk about risky reels. So there was another change in regards to uh, what was happening, and that was that supposedly the sign now says prepare for collision. We don't know what that means. Uh, but you can probably get an idea that something big or catastrophic is going to happen because when when you're talking about collision, that's not something small. That's something big or ma major anyways. Uh, so you guys can hint down below or well, comment down below what you guys are going to think is going to happen or what it means. And we can get down to the bottom of this. Now, in regards to older news, I, I don't know if you guys have heard, but Dark, Dark Bomber was mentioned. Um, so in the files, her dragon pickaxe was found. Or well, the idea, the concept anyways, that she was going to have a dragon pickaxe. You can see in one of the teasers that Fortnite leaked long ago that she is going to have a dragon. Or well, she, her dark version is her having a dragon on her and not a unicorn. So that kind of makes sense why she's going to have a dragon pickaxe instead. So the idea is probably maybe you have to buy that pickaxe or it's a skin for your pickaxe. Or you can unlock it for the dark bomber. Uh, it all kind of depends, but that's what we've heard so far. And also for the week one loading screen, if you haven't already noticed, uh, there are scarecrows on it. There's two of them, male and female scarecrows that are fighting off the Mr. Llama Man, and he's just not having a good time. I believe it's Llama Man. Now I'm kind of like second guessing myself. Let me let me do a quick look real quickly, man. Unprofessional, Jay. Uh, but that should be looking or well, appearing on your screen right now, and it does appear to be Mr. Llama Man that's having a good old time with the scarecrows. One of the scarecrows is just kind of standing there, and one of them is just sitting on the fence. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Fortnite news. So we basically discussed the new Disco Domination LTM. We believe that's going to be 50 v 50. How there's going to be separate news pages, Halloween decorations happening, the floating island, Risky Reels, their little subliminal message about it, Dark Bomber, and the new possible leaked skins. And that's really it. Uh, but besides that, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys do enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below what you guys think of everything. I really do have fun interacting with you guys and coming up with theories about possibilities of what are happening in Fortnite. Because man, this season is already off to a roll like literally. Well, is it really? Uh, well, either way, it's doing crazy stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a sub and I'll see you guys next time.